If you've ever been curious about what snail poop looks like, I will now show you. The vlog is back. We're back home. It is Tuesday. Michael is away with work. He's in Bergen. Um, Leander is with his dad. So it's just me and the doggo home. It's going to be a slow but hopefully somewhat productive week. I, oh, that was my rice cooker. I'm just making some vegan uh, fried rice. So that's what's going on right now. I'm waiting for my June wrap up to finish uploading to YouTube. And then I'm gonna read a little bit. I'm currently reading Writers and Lovers by Lily King. Is that the name? Lily something. Uh, one that I saw mentioned on Noelle Gallagher's channel and it sounded amazing. So I bought it, <laughs> I ordered it. Uh, and I'm really enjoying it so far. So I'm gonna make some food, gonna read a bit, and then I'll talk to you guys later. been curious about what snail poop looks like, I will now show you. This is what snail poop looks like. So apparently while we were away, don't mind all the mess, I'm gonna turn around and pretend that it's not there. I haven't unpacked everything from our trip to our family, <laughs> but while we were away, a snail apparently ventured into our apartment and crawled under a bed and died because of all the dust, but left a little bit of a shit stain on our wall. So I'll have to clean that up later today. Hello there, it is now late Tuesday evening, it's 11.25 p.m. I'm about to take Mark out for his last walk of the day and then I'm gonna go to bed. I didn't get as much reading as I wanted to but I did get through a chunk of the family upstairs that I'm listening to on audiobook while I was making dinner and then I just... I was really tired, so I relaxed a bit on the couch with Mork 
and then I got a little bit of reading done. So I'm on page 117 in Writers and Lovers by Lily King and I'm really enjoying it so far. I can definitely relate to Casey, the main character in so many ways because she's an aspiring writer that's really trying to finish her novel and because of everything that she's going through as a single woman as well it's just a really sweet and nice read so far and i'm gonna continue reading a bit in bed and i will see you guys tomorrow good night Wednesday. I've had a really slow and relaxing morning. I went for a walk with Mork. I did some laundry. had breakfast. Well, other way around. I had breakfast. Then I did some laundry. And now I've just been reading a bit. I'm on page 146 of Writers and Lovers. And this is the story that I just I'm, I'm just getting lost in this fictional story and I absolutely love it so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be one that I will finish way faster than I would like to it's one of those bittersweet things where you really want to know what's gonna happen but you don't want it to end so yeah but right now I have to go to the store to buy some groceries and then when I get back, I'm probably going to read some more. I'll see you guys later. Good morning. It is Thursday. I didn't vlog anymore yesterday just because I was feeling a bit off after I went grocery shopping. So I ended up just binging Sweet Magnolias on Netflix, which was recommended to me by my best friend Shishti. And... I, I just fell in love with it. I did not fall in love with that cliffhanger ending and I need season two to come out now. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much all I did yesterday. I did get a little bit of reading done. I'm now on page 162 in Writers and Lovers and I finished listening to The Family Upstairs, which was pretty good. But now, I've just had a shower, I've uh, gone for a walk with the dog, and now I'm going to have some breakfast, and some coffee, and then I'm going to read a bit. So I'll talk to you guys later. sleep that off but I did get a little bit of reading done I'm a little over 200 pages into lovers and writers and I started a new audiobook today as well I started listening to Cabal by Clive Barker that I'm uh, buddy reading with uh, Alex Charles Ross so I'm excited to finally get to that so yeah I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you in the morning. Good night.
today is just one of those days. Like I'm trying really hard to be a little bit productive. Um, but there's just not that much um, extra energy left in me today. I think it might have been the headache. I didn't sleep that well. I will still try to write a couple of book reviews. I should be filming my Reading Rush TBR as well, but we'll see. We will see. Well, checking our mailbox today definitely made this day a little better. So I mentioned in my June wrap up that I ordered a few of the Virago modern classics. And here's one of them, is this one. So it is the Dud Avocado by Elaine Dundee. I'm not gonna go into what these books are about uh, just because it would take up too much time of this vlog and I will probably do a haul where I go more into depth about all of these. It's another Virago Modern classic. It is Faces in the Water by Janet Frame. Frost in May by Antonia White. And then the last one is Heartburn by Nora Ephron. The last one is not um, a book per se. I know what this is. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so I this is from a store called Tudos um, here in Norway. They do uh, stationery, notebooks, all that stuff. And I think this is so sweet. Last time I ordered from them as well, I got the same thing. They did this where they send this little card that just says thank you for your order, but they actually handwrite your name and the name of the one who packaged it, which I think is just really cute um, and it makes it feel a bit more personal. They also sent this bookmark with the calendar for 2020 or the second half of 2020 and the first half of 2021 which I did not expect um, but that's really cute. But the thing I actually ordered was this baby. It's a new bullet journal. This is a uh, sort of doodle picture of London, one of my favorite cities. Um, I started bullet journaling a few months ago. I bought, let me show you which one I've been using. So I got this bullet journal, which, which you can take out pages and put in pages, which I thought was um, a good idea at the time. Uh, because I thought that because I, I was new to this, I would want to have the option to remove pages if I screwed up. <laughs> but the thing is, with, um, with this one, it's hard to get a good consistency with the pages because they're, they are split up this way. It was definitely great at the beginning um, to have the option to screw up and just remove the pages but in some ways this just didn't feel right I don't know if that makes sense but yes so it was a good start but I think I'm gonna switch over to this one because um, I really do like bullet journaling and it, it's just a great way for me to keep myself accountable for all the things that I need to do so I found this and it was on sale. 
it was what was it a little over $20 uh, I think it's really a shame that they don't use bioplastic instead of regular plastic although they do say here that it is a sustainable production Produced by the highest standards, paper from sustainable managed forests, plant oil-based colors, and support of reforestation programs. So that's great. They're doing an effort there, but I wish that they would change out this plastic for biodegradable plastic. But this is what it looks like with the Doodle of London going all the way through. It even has the sprayed edges right here. And then... It's just like any other bullet journal where you have the dotted pages, which my camera does not want to focus on. So yeah. So that's it. I managed to sneak in a mini haul. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about this. And now I'm currently writing my second book review of the day. I have one for Reedsy that I need to finish because it's going to be up in about four days. So I better get back to it. See you guys later. really not feeling well today I went to bed feeling kind of off and I'm not feeling well today either so the boys are out they're headed to a couple of museums I've had some breakfast at I don't know what time it is 3 p.m. or something because I stayed in bed all day now I just made myself a coconut latte and I'm gonna crawl back into bed with a book and just stay there for a little while.